Um, my name's Genshin. Um, I'm a CS ops um, manager and I work in primarily Gainsight and Salesforce. Um, you know, I've, I've used both in, in a variety of instances and a variety of, of organizations. Um, where I'm at right now with, at Granular, we, um, you know, we use Salesforce obviously for, to house um, all of our customer and prospect information and, and manage our uh, sales and revenue operations. Um, what's interesting about our org is we were acquired by um, a much larger organization just a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, we really had to kind of stretch um, our, our use of Salesforce in order to better integrate with our parent company. Um, so, you know, I'm, for example, running like a, a weekly manual data loader process to bring in uh, hundreds of thousands of records from our, our from our parent org. Um, so it's been it's been fun, definitely learning, um, you know, constantly learning new things about what uh, Salesforce can and can't do. Depends whether you're an admin or an end user, and it always depends on the instance. Like it always depends on the environment. I mean, ours is definitely difficult to use um, for both end users and admins. Um, and you know, we're currently ongoing a, a bit of a process to try to make it easier to use for the end user. Um, it's it's not an easy system to learn. Um, it it can be made easier for the end user, but need a really good admin to be able to do so. Um, and the, the tough part, like the blocker on that is typically not admin capability, but more so history of the instance and how long it's been around and, and you know, whether it was future-proofed from the beginning. Like custom objects is, is probably the biggest one. Um, you know, just being able to customize um, for your own needs to really really build it out based on um, what what the business actually needs, as opposed to just relying on um, standard objects like account, opportunity, contact. Um, you know, you can you can really get uh, get crazy with it. Um, uh, the other piece I would say is. Um, the lightning experience provides uh, these kind of console views for, for sales and service, um, which makes it a little bit easier to navigate. It, it kind of helps with that uh, end user adoption side of things. Um, and then the other piece, which um, I'm not too familiar with just yet, but um, like, I'm, I, I, like I, I know how it works um, and I've seen it in action is uh, Einstein, Einstein Analytics. Uh, I think that's got a lot of power behind it. Process builder. Um, though I know they're kind of like killing it and, and sort of replacing it. Um, it. It's it's really hard to navigate process builder right now. I mean, as an admin, I can't even go in and search for a particular process builder. Like I have to sort the items um i can't just go like there's no search bar to say okay give me all the process builders that have like this keyword in it um and then like anytime you're navigating between like being inside of a particular process builder and then going back it it's just not a clean experience it's 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 probably the most frustrating part of um the the admin side of things there like just just navigating it it's a lot more robust. There's a lot more that's possible. There's a lot more off the shelf integrations. Um, there's a lot more possibility to create custom integrations, um, but it's a lot more difficult to use. You know, with, with more power comes more com um, complexity. Um, you know, other systems are often built a lot simpler, but they get the, they get the job done for, you know, they get 80% they get of the work done. It's not necessarily 80% of the value, but they get 80% of the work required done. Um, uh, you just just a lot quicker and it's it's easier to adopt um i i like i would feel a lot more comfortable kind of passing off smaller tasks to like junior admins for example um in other systems but in salesforce like 
you got to be really, really specific with handing off any any kind of minor task to someone who's not too familiar. Like it's it's probably eight and a half or nine. I mean, it's 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 a fantastic product, it's a fantastic platform, and they're always coming out with you know new ways to make it even easier. Um, but you know, it's it's always the uh, the ease of use that uh, is never really going to bring it to a tent.